emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube preppers, this is the comms prepper. We got a bright sunny day here in Moscow and we're gonna show you a new project here I've been working on. And we're gonna do this outside because we actually have some sunlight for a change. And today's project is we're gonna use an ocean radio to transmit photographs taken with an iPad. Now I've showed you slow scan TV in the past and that's pretty much what we're gonna use here. We're gonna use the slow scan TV application here on the iPad. And I've got the parts laid up here. So we have the iPad here. We've got the Apple camera adapter for the iPad, and this is good for an iPhone as well. We've got a USB signal link audio interface that'll connect into that USB port. And I made a cable today that connects to the side of the ocean radio and then gives me receive audio and transmit audio. So I can also receive pictures through the ocean radio, but that's gonna be a separate video. So for today's video, we're just gonna use the red side here, or the brown side of this cable, connect it to the ocean radio. We'll take a couple of pictures with the iPad, and then I'm gonna transmit them over VHF radio back into the house here, and we'll play that out on the TV screen like I've done with previous videos. And inside I have my Kenwood radio connected to my USB signal link, which is connected to my desktop computer. So what I'll do is I'll pause here and we'll get this all set up and we'll take some pictures. Okay guys, before I take the photograph with the iPad, I wanna show you how this is connected. Of course I have an iPad here. This can be an iPhone as well with an Apple camera adapter here that gives us a USB port connected to USB signal link audio adapter, which gives us a headphone jack and a microphone jack with the custom cable I made connected in the side of the ocean radio. And what I'll be doing is using the camera application that comes with the iPad to snap a picture here in the backyard and then I'll import that into the Black Cat SSTV program on the iPad and hit the transmit button on the iPad while I'm holding the push to talk button down on the ocean radio. And that'll transmit that picture inside to the house where it will be received on my Kenwood radio connected to the USB signal link audio interface, which is connected to my desktop PC. And that'll be displayed on the MMSSTV software loaded on the PC computer in the house. Okay guys, I selected my photograph by going here to select image from the roll. I went to my camera roll, selected my image to transmit, and now that's ready to transmit. I have the ocean radio here. And what I'm gonna do is, and hold the push talk button down here on the side of the radio. And you should hear the tones from the Kenwood inside the house as we transmit that picture. And that'll be displaying that photograph out on the TV inside the house. So we're using an iPad, or an eye product to transmit a photograph with an ocean radio. And I apologize for the glare out here. It's nice to have a sunny day, but it doesn't make for uh, good videos when you have shiny surfaces. But I think this has a good uh, application for emergency communications and prepping in general. If you're out and about and you see something, you want to send a picture back to your retreat location or other groups in your party, you can hook up your iProduct and go ahead and transmit them a photograph with this application. And again, this application is made by Black Hat and it's called SSTV. And I'll do a future video where I actually transmit images between ocean radios and iProducts for a, like a deployed type situation. And then I'll do another video where I actually transmit images from a base station to the ocean radio. So let's say you're out and about and you get lost and you need a copy of a map or you wanna send instructions out to a group of people. You can have somebody back at your base station load those images up at the base station and transmit those out to the field and they can actually receive those pictures on their ocean radio using their iProduct device. And we're almost done with sending that picture, and then we'll head back inside. Okay guys, we're back inside at our base station location where I received that picture from outside with the Kenwood here in the house and the USB signal link, and our photographs up here. If we're at a base location or retreat location, you got this picture in, you could actually go ahead and do a right click and save it to a file, and then attach it to an email if you wanted to, or save it to a file 
then re-import it to this program and retransmit this photograph, let's say to another location or another group of people out in the field. You could also take this picture here and right click it and edit it and it'll bring this picture up in Microsoft Paint. So you can actually come over here and zoom in, get a better view of it and use some of the Microsoft Paint tools if you wanted to mark it up somehow. Maybe somebody took a picture of a house, you know, there's a tornado or something or a row of houses and you wanted to mark the ones that have been searched. You can come in here and actually edit this photo and then again save it to a file out on your hard drive someplace. And then you have that picture out there, you could re-import it to the MMSSTV software and then retransmit that photograph out in the field. I think this program and this project has some really good applications for emergency communications and uh, prepping in general. And it was kind of fun putting it together and trying it out to see if it all worked. If you guys have time, leave a comment down below and let me know how the new camera is working out. I uh, upgraded to a DSLR camera that does high definition. And I also got an external microphone that connects to the camera, and I'm actually using that now because the camera's focus motor can actually be picked up by the camera's microphone. So to mitigate that, I'm using an external microphone hooked up to the camera. So if you have time, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with how you can take and send pictures with your ocean radio using an iProduct device.